Well, we'll see how the guys uh, shape up. Obviously, it's the first day back recovery. I gave them Sunday off. I think they, need, they needed a rest, deserved a rest, especially after that second half performance. So we'll see how they shape up tomorrow, and then we'll pick a team that we think can go out and win the game. Yep. Well, I don't know. Time will tell, I assume. But that's, you know, I think that's coach's main main problem. In games of football, there's always momentum shifts at times, you know, and half time is a, a great opportunity for you to either reset or refocus or trying to, after a positive first half, to try and maintain that. But no two halves of football are ever the same, you know that. What's important is you don't concede in those moments. I think on Saturday, we weren't at our levels in the first half and that was clear and we probably deservedly were one goal behind. Second half, I thought we were exceptional, the way we played, the way we, you know, controlled things at times. You know, when, when it became a transitional game, it suited the players that we brought on as well. And we had numerous chances to probably win the game. So that's the way we want to play. That's not always perfect, we know, and it's not ideal, but you know, when we have our moments, we can't concede either, which we did for a uh, set piece as well. Um, you mentioned the, the fact that you're pleased with the way they responded to, you know, maybe you make a tactical change or the way that you speak to them at half time. Does that give you confidence going forward that actually the players are recognising where they've gone wrong? Well, I've never met a player yet or a team yet that goes out there not to actually play well. Never have. And if I do, then we're in the wrong sport. You know, players don't purposely go out there to not perform at their level. Sometimes it happens. And when it does happen, it's important you remain in the game. And we did that at halftime. Uh, we made, I've made a few, uh, told them a few home truths. And we weren't, it wasn't really, really bad. We just weren't really good. Um, I knew we could increase our levels by 15, 20% each player. And if you do that collectively, then it, it makes a big difference in the team. And that's certainly what happened. So I thought you saw we started the second half on our front foot. We started winning more battles and more individual duels. And from that, we gained a little bit more momentum, which was the reason why we played very well in the second half. Um, some people might look at the game and the goal should be seen in the conversation. Yeah. Well, it depends which way you look at it, because if you actually break down the, I think, six set pieces, there's been two penalties, there's been a wide free kick away at Newcastle, and there's been a deflected free kick on the edge of the box, and then there's two corners on Saturday. The two corners on Saturday, the first goal is uh, not good defending from us. We have to hold the hands up, we're in the wrong position, and we don't deal with it well. The second goal is uh, the boy has just out jumped our defender, Patrick. And, you know, if, if you out jump, sometimes the ball is exceptional and the, the, the jumping man gets a run on it and out jumps your opponent. So I don't think it's a big issue. Is it an issue? It was on Saturday because we conceded two goals from corners, which we, you know, you have a chance to reset when the ball is dead. And we didn't get that right. But over the course of six games, it's not been a big issue because two penalties, one deflected free kick and a wide free kick as well. They, they've got good players, you know, let's not be mistaken about that. Uh, it's early on in the season, you're trying to find your groove. Some teams have found their groove already, some teams are inconsistent and some teams, you know, are probably below their levels at the moment. They've got good players, obviously, when they're all fit, and I know teams are dealing with injuries at the moment, they'll be a very tough proposition. I know that Grant will obviously say to them a few things, um, they'll be looking for a response, but so are we. You know, we're at home, we want to try and... Uh, start off on the positive note, especially at home like we did in Newcastle and then maybe make it 90 minutes rather than 45 or 50 minutes. Um, so it's going to be a very difficult game. Forgive me if this might come across as an odd question, yeah. but when you see teams like Melbourne Victory and things like Melbourne City, big clubs in the league having, by their own standards, disappointing starts to the season, as a rival coach, does that give you a sense of joy going into it, knowing that potential rivals are teams that have yourself against have started badly? No, it's not. I get asked a few odd questions, so you're okay with that. Uh, no, it doesn't. Listen, because I, you know, whether you're a first-time coach or you're not, you know, coaches go through these periods where they're inconsistent. You know, and players perform at levels and they're inconsistent at times. It happens with coaches. As a coach, you can't control what your players do when they cross the white line. Sometimes you can overthink things. Sometimes you can overanalyze things. And they, you know, teams who've got coaches in charge will do it their own way but it doesn't give me any joy it's because I've been in the business for a while and I understand what they're going through and it's sometimes it's not nice um, 
Yeah, probably another week or so. Uh, I think it'll be an outside chance for the weekend, uh, but it depends on you know how much we, we risk we want to take. Obviously, he's he's out. We've got Dylan and Tass who are both out as well. Um, and then we've got Muchi and Juki that are still waiting to come back. So we've got some freshness to come back into the squad. That might be two or three weeks away. Um, but the boys who've got the, the shirts at the moment and the subs are pushing for places. And so James Muchi's out with his training gear on today for the yep. first time. And how excited are you to find him having part of the week? And how really sticky is it? Yeah, no, it's great. Obviously, he's a good player. He's a good person as well, which I know. And he'll bring a, a different quality to our group that we've got and an added competition because that's what we need. So it'll probably take him 10 days or two weeks to, to get up to speed. Um, but he's a good player.